Hello guys, welcome back to the class for Oral's Marine Hub YouTube channel. Today we are going to discuss the differences between the MLC and ISM code. The both look synonymous to each other, but there are very wide differences between the MLC and ISM code. I have made one another video uh, which is uh, the certificates and the documents covered under MLC. So you can watch that video in the link in the description. So let's start with the MLC and the ISM code differences and if possible please take down all the points so that it would be easier to memorize the differences between the both. So starting with the MLC, MLC 2006 it was established in 2006 and the entry into force was 2013 and 2014 while the ISM code version 2013 it was established in 1992 but the final implementation was done in 2002. This is the first uh, establishment difference. The next is the objective. The MLC objective says the policy and the health safety at the work program including the risk assessment and the corresponding training of the seafarers which is in the regulation 4.3 while in the ism code the safety and the environmental protection policy is the base of the code the evaluation of the risk assessment and the safe working environment are the objectives only as the co ism code remains vague on the corresponding training required it was necessary to issue IMO circulars OMI to specify the necessary training of the DPA and the crews. In the MLC, reasonable precautions to prevent the industrial accidents, wounds and occupational diseases on board and in a non-mandatory part B 4.3. So taken into account of the ILO that is International Labour Organization guidelines on the prevention of the accidents on board ships at the sea or in port. Whereas the ISM code is very general on this and it requires only the insurance of the application of the mandatory rules and regulations which are international or the national and then taking into the account the other existing recommendations concerning inter alia the prevention of the accidents and the possible diseases due to the carriage and the handling of the dangerous goods for example. So far the MLC says onboard program for prevention with the participation of the crew and these crew members can be elected or named at the ship's health and safety committee of the ship. Other interested people of the crew can also be applying to the part of it. Whereas in the ISM code, it is very voluntarily general. So it can be so precise that a circular or a resolution is not necessary. The entry into force of MLC 2006 prevented thus this aspect of the seafarers participation entered in ISM code amendments 2014. In MLC, the correction of the dangerous situations and the investigation of the accidents is taken into account whereas in the ism code it is already clear enough on that goes even beyond mlc thereby <coughs> requiring the study of near misses and the implementation of the experience feedback that is very important point to note in the mlc the master's responsibility on the implementation of the policy and the program on health and safety at the work is clearly specified in detail and a person is designated by the master to implement the program of MLC whereas in the ISM code it specifies the responsibilities for the master in application of the SMS of the company that means the master will be solely responsible to implement the SMS by the company if the SMS includes a health and safety program at the work, the loop is buckled. So far good. Next, the participation of the crew's representative to the periodic program review for a continuous improvement is seen here in the MLC. 
whereas in the ism code it does not talk about that perhaps only uh, the point 9 which proposes only to the lay down an objective of the reinforcement of the safety and the implementation of the corrective measures in order to avoid recurrence nevertheless it is to the some extent a continuous improvement is seen there now in the mlc the problems of fatigue are uh, observed sometimes it says the measurements of the maximum workload and the minimum rest in the rule 2.3 which are those of stcw and ilo 180 and in addition simple optional measures to be included in national guidelines that is b4.3 at the same time as noise temperature vibrations or the alcohol level is consumption is same whereas in the ism code only the necessary physical capacity is used and it seems necessary to force ourselves to see an adequate physical conditions so in these points you may find very minute and uh, very uh, interesting differences between the mlc and ism code so there is no similarity between the two codes both are entirely different to each other but uh, these uh, points which are very differentiating must be taken into account while uh, understanding the basic differences of the both so i hope uh, we have understood the mlc and ism code differences and uh, we will be covering more topics so i hope you understood and uh, take care